Hello YouTube. Today I'll be showing you how to convert an MDF slash MDS file into an ISO. Um, the reason I'm doing this is so that way I can turn this game, this PS2 game, it's a backup, so I can turn it into something I can actually play on my PS2. I need an ISO file so that way I can patch this game to use with the certain mod I have, which is ESR. And, well, MDF and MDF you can't patch. So, to do this, you will need two software. First one is WinRAR. I'll put the link in the description. And the second one is ImageBurn. Now, what you do is you go to where your MDF slash MDS file is. You right click on the MDF file you want to open with. And see if you have WinRAR on the list. If you don't, then, like I don't, you just have to open up WinRAR and manually browse through your computer. So open up WinRAR. You'll be in a random directory. I'm just going to go to the desktop because that's where my folder is. If I can find it. Okay. Open up your folder. And you want to click on the MDF file. Now these, this is basically the CD or the DVD image. All these folders. Go back to this folder where your MDF is and make a new folder. I'm going to name it ISO or ISO. You need to extract all these files into that folder. I don't know how long it's going to take, so I will come back when it is done. So that took roughly two minutes, and not too bad, considering it was a three gigabyte image. So you can go, go ahead and close that out WinRAR. Now that you have all these files in here, what you want to do is you want to put them into an ISO. To do that, you need to use ImageBurn. ImageBurn is probably the I'm not going to say the best program for this, but it's a good one. If you already have something on your computer, like a, I think a software called Gizmo or maybe um, Daemon Tools or something, this that'll, those will probably work just fine. But I like to use ImageBurn. Alright, so you want to create image file from file slash folders. You need to browse. Let's go to desktop. Dynasty Warriors 5. And you want to select the folder. You don't want to go into the folder because that just leads you to a folder or any folders you may have inside there. But you want to select the folder that you extract the ISO to. Excuse me, ISO. Alright, now this part is kind of important. You need to label at least these two, the ISO 9660 and the UDF. Now, depending on what you're doing, if you are uh, burning a game or you need to convert a game to ISO or if it's a movie or software that all depends on what you put in there but for my use I'm gonna put now I'm just making this up off the top of my head DW5 Empires because that's the name of the game I'm gonna do the same for the UDF D, look, DW5 Empires Alright, and just hit the little build button. It's going to ask you where you want to put your ISO. I'd put it in the same folder so that way I don't lose it. Alright, now this part's important. Yada yada yada. Would you like me to add just the contents of the ISO to the image? I mean, that's the folder ISO. Um, you do not want the ISO folder to be visible, so you want to hit yes. And that takes no time at all. And now it's going to actually start. <laughs> uh, either way, it shouldn't take too long. And it is done. So, let's minimize that. And here's our ISO. Now, right click it, open with. WinRAR. And see, there's all the files. That's why that little pop-up came up. So that way we didn't... If we chose a no on the pop-up previously, we would have seen the actual ISO folder on here instead of all the files, which we don't want. Because that just makes it kind of redundant. So, there we go. And if you're using this to convert a PS2 game, don't forget if you're using ESR, you have to patch it. Or if you're just using somewhere else, then I guess we're done here. 
All right. I guess I'll see y'all later.